guys, today is October the 15th, I think, 14th. It's a beautiful autumn day. The leaves are falling. It's a light breeze, 10 mile an hour. The leaves are all red, yellow, and orange everywhere. We are going to the country's smallest national park, national monument called Tower Rock. I've been here one time when I was about 16 years old. It was just so long ago, I barely remember it. I think I was by myself when I first got my driver's license. It's been a long time, so it's been 26 years ago. Um, don't really remember much about it, so uh, the time when you want to come down here is during drought conditions. You really want the river at Chester to be at zero feet right now it's at positive 5.4 feet so it's really about five foot too high it has to be at zero feet at chester to be able to go all the way out to it but we should be able to at least get on the peninsula part of it so we're going to check it out see what this place is about if nothing else it's some good scenery and uh and we may fish right here a little bit too possibly if we feel like it but we kind of got some other things playing but I may want to wet a line for a few minutes if it looks tempting because um, the rocks do go way over below the island so stay tuned I'll turn back on once we get on the actual island On the Mississippi it's about 15 miles north of Cape maybe 20 north of Cape Girardeau between Chester Illinois and Cape Girardeau across from Grand Teller Illinois but on the Missouri side it's called Tower Rock Natural Area Mr. and Mrs. Charles Busson donated this forest track to Missouri Conservation Department to pre preserve its historic geological features and representative plant community. You talk about a neat place, guys. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if the river gauge was exactly zero feet at Chester, Illinois, we would be able to walk straight in front of us all the way out to the island and it would no longer be an island. So it's just five foot too high right now which means this water is probably about four foot deep going across. And as you can see below me here, there's very swift rapids down there. And then a big, neat rock dike, kind of like a natural rock dike. Really neat, guys. And this is the narrowest part on the Mississippi River I've ever seen. If you go out to the end of that rock out there to the other side where Grand Tower is it is very narrow I know them barges got to have trouble getting through there when it's super low like this here's the actual tower rock island right here and it's the country's smallest national monument pretty cool guys We just wanted to do something different today because it's really windy. We had to cancel our plans of going to the strip mines to crappie fish. Uh, it looks better. We're at only be 10 mile an hour winds today. It's 15 to 25 mile an hour winds. So I'm gonna go on down. We're gonna take a walk around. I want to walk all. I want to walk all the way out there. Don't you? Yeah, you can fish. I'm saying I want to go way out there though. I know it's a long walk, but it's neat. Yeah. And you want to change your shoes? Put your hiking boots on. You want your hiking boots? the 
Mississippi River if I've ever seen it. I'm going to attempt guys to walk down this right bank. I'm going to go all the way up on them, that big mound and then work my way all the way out to the Mississippi River. It's not an island right now. It's down there, or it's not. When the river's really high. I'm sorry, when the river's really low, it's no longer an island. It becomes a peninsula. But unfortunately, it don't happen very often. Uh, in fact, there's only been a few times in history when the river does get to zero feet at Chester. So it's very rare that you have an opportunity to walk out all the way out to this. And usually most of them occurrences have happened during the winter time. Not all of them, but generally it is more of a winter time thing when it does happen. Now this is just cool right here. This water is no more than, I would say three to four foot deep right now because it's only five foot higher at Chester than it needs to be to be able to walk across this. So this water is really neat coming through here. Very swift rapids. going to be hard for you guys to hear me. I'm going to have to speak louder. I apologize for the wind. Today is 15 to 25 mile an hour wind. So I'm going to do my best to speak a little louder so you guys can hear me. I don't know how deep this is back in here. All I know is the water washes through. I'm sure this washes this out a little bit or it could be shallow. But I tell you what, there's a possibility of some white bass right here. If it is deep, just don't know. Somebody was playing around and built a little something here. Boy, it's beautiful down here, guys. This is a neat place, unique to say the least. Definitely a unique place. I didn't tell Wilma where we was coming. She kept saying, where the heck are we going? I said, it's a surprise. <clears throat> she don't know nothing about this place. I've never mentioned it. There went a big fist just jumped right there. Huh. This may be deep back in here. This does wash this out. I bet you this is... This could be rather deep and probably some decent fishing. I may have to get the fishing poles out here in a little bit, guys, and at least give it a try. I imagine this scours this out. It could be 15, 20 foot deep out there in the at the end of them rapids where it sucks, the, sucks all the silt out. It probably keeps this pretty deep. But just by looking right here, it is deep. I ain't about to get in and find out, but I can tell it's... 
it's deeper than it is coming through there. It's got to keep this washed out. Looks like someone has been enjoying making uh, little rock formations while they were here before. As you can see, another one a person did here. <laughs> then over here is there's an actual lake inside the rocks. There's a lake since the water has receded. That thing could be full of fish, guys, because the fish get trapped in there and they have nowhere to go. Of course, someone else has probably thought of that and probably fished it. It could be fished out if it's been low long enough, but you never know. If I see a lot of activity inside that lake, I'm going to be tempted to try it. You coming? Honey? I'm thinking I hear a towboat, guys. I'm hoping to get a good view of a towboat as they come by, too. When the water's high, guys, this place ain't really nothing special to come look at. It's only when it's really low that it, that it gets this appearance like this. I would say as long as the river is seven feet and under at Chester, which flood stage is 27 feet. Right now it's at five. So that tells you the river right now is 22 feet below where it meets the highway right there at Chester. To be able to come up onto the highway, it has to be 27 feet. So it is way down right now, the Mississippi River. But, the record low is negative 5.4, I think. So it's still 10 feet away from being at a record low, which if I remember right was 1964. The, the lowest the river has been since I've been born, I do believe was 1988 and 1989. It was, uh, somewhere real close to that like negative three or something like that very low boy this is just really neat now the river's back here too and then it goes out wow this, this is cool this is really cool brother got her interested in rocks last night, rock collecting, so I believe that's what she's doing. My god, this is just amazing. There's definitely going to be fish trapped in this lake. I have a good feeling. It could be loaded. It could be loaded with fish. Maybe nobody else thinks about fishing right here. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Yeah, there ain't gonna be nothing in there. You never know though, I guess. My God, there's just fists jumping everywhere, guys. I think they're gar. 
but it's loaded. It's loaded with fish because it actually connects to the river. And this looks fairly deep back in here. If that bank like that is that straight up and down, this water is deep. I have a feeling it's dug out. It sure looks, I can't even see the bottom right at the edge. It just drops straight down. It is deep. If I could get the canoe in here, I would. I could probably sit here and catch crappie out of this lake. Like I said, I think I'm gonna work my way. I'm gonna go up here, work my way around this big circle, and then I'll go all the way out to the main river where all that water shoots around to the right. And like I said before, this is the narrowest part of the Mississippi I pos uh, personally know of. Very narrow. Whoa, giant buffalo someone threw up here. That thing is giant. He was about a 20 pounder. Man. <clears throat> I'm still curious how many fish are stuck in this little lake back in here. It still connects where they can barely get through there. Probably not anymore, but they could possibly a few weeks ago go move in and out. <clears throat> so it has a high possibility of still having fish trapped in it. There just went one. Shad. Or shad in here or crappie. It was a little silver fish. actually pretty deep back in here I don't see any big fish swimming around but I'm hoping to see something the more I walk around the more tempted I'm gonna get to go get my fishing poles and come back down later but the problem is I want to go to two or three other places today and it's already 1130 but man this is tempting because it's clear back in here too real clear green color don't know what all would be in it, but it's, it's possibly got everything in here. Bass, crappie, white bass, everything. And here we are at the main Mississippi already, guys. Where this water shoots around. Most of it goes way out. The buoys are almost all the way on the far bank over there. Where there is no way barges to go through here. What that tells me is river barges when they're loaded need at least 10 foot of water to be able to pass through 10 foot deep into the water way over there they have to hug that bank the illinois side they have to hug it
pick a better day to come look at this. Oh wow, there's a thing on the rock down here, guys, for a boat to tie off on. It's mounted to the rock. Huh. I guess if people want to come do a tour of this, maybe they tie up on here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Yeah, this river's definitely shallow on this map. This bedrock continues. Oh, by the way, the water's acting still in a big one diagonal. The bank is still connected. It goes all the way. itself is clearing up we have had no rain for so long that there's a whole foot of visibility in the mississippi that's very rare you could use the illusion and they'd be able to see it that's how clear it is i can see a whole foot down with no problem but you could get away with using stuff that you couldn't normally use and catch fish oh Big fish just jumped right in front of me where these rapids shoot through. Man. It's neat. When this is high, the fish get trapped in there. Out, did you look at the big one back there? Yeah. I seen a bunch of gar. Yeah, it would be really good. 
fishing right out in the where the current comes around. That that's good fishing, I bet. With a crankbait. Yeah, that's granite. I told you it was a neat place. I you told me to do something different besides fishing. God, I bet there's every. And the water's almost clear enough you can use a crankbait. I wonder if you you could catch walleye right there. Yeah, white bass. That's what I'm thinking too. You can't catfish because you can't put your rod anywhere. You'd have to hold it. Or lay it down. Well, you could make a rod holder out of rock. Granite. What granite? Granite, like Johnson shut ends an elephant rock. Pink rock. There's a fish in this little lake, too. I've seen only little ones, but I'm sure there's something stuck in there. Huh? Huh? It's already recording. Oh, you're zooming. Remember the zoom gets stuck. It keeps moving. I just heard a big fish. There's a big boat coming. Uh, this is something you ain't going to see very often, but we are fishing the Mississippi River with crankbaits. And Wilma caught a white bass 
on a Strike King Crawdad crankbait. She sure did hold it up sideways for us. I'll get a good picture later then. We just knew, right now the water is so clear, I just knew that they'd see crankbaits and this looks like a good white bass spot and I told her that and sure enough, my gosh. That's crazy, isn't it? In the Mississippi River. The lower Mississippi River at that, guys. Using lures is something you don't hear about very often here. Huh! <laughs> oh, goodness. Where at? Yeah, I mean, he's in the bank. I knew they were in this hole. You can tell by looking. You sure you seen a blue catfish? Yeah, I see it. My God. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. It's a little hole right here, but they like it right now because they're shallow again.